Leg games come from all around the world. The United States, Mexico, Finland, Russia, mainly mainly Russia, according to my team of scientists. And I think it's safe to say that the second most bootleggy country making abominations of games would be China. Yeah, China sure just doesn't give a crap. So I guess let's check some of these Chinese bootlegs out. I also had a joke written out here, but upon review it was... it felt kinda racist, oops. But enough wasting time! As the Chinese would say... I don't know, I don't speak Chinese. Pizza Pop Mario. I mean, hey, you can't go wrong. I like all three of those things. So in this game, Mario is a pizza delivery boy. Pizza time. And he's carrying it through the slums of New York without a box. I think that's a major health code violation. When all of a sudden he walks by a jewelry store and sees a ring for $10,000, you're gonna have to deliver a lot of pizzas, Mario. But sometimes we follow our hearts instead of our brains because Mario wants to give this ring to... Chinese Princess Peach. I mean, yeah, she's kinda cute. Good for you! So let's begin our pizza delivery adventure! Flooded with people exercising, dancing, hula hooping, and throwing water balloons! I'll punch you, kid! However, the real obstacles we need to look out for are all of these stray cats and dogs! We could feed them and help them out, or squish them! Yeah, that's what you get! It's kind of violent, don't you think? There's even areas where you can't progress until you defeat all the cats. China, why are you like this? If we pause the game at the right time, though, we'll see Mario wielding a picket sign. Or... something. What's going on? Level 2 has us ascending a building from the outside. You know, Mario, I'm no building expert, but I feel like there's an easier way to do this. Like, maybe an elevator. I'm sure this 600-story building has one. And who's throwing barrels? Is this what it's like in China? Once we reach the top, we have to battle a gangster. Of course, what else would happen? Although, if I'm gonna be honest, the game is actually really fun. It mixes things up so every level feels unique. Sometimes it focuses on platforming, then fighting, then racing. And for being a bootleg, its presentation is really solid. It controls well and looks aesthetically pleasing. China really does go above and beyond for their bootlegs. The final level really takes a turn. Like, aren't I supposed to be delivering pizzas? Why am I traversing this metallic death trap and fighting robots? No customer is worth this trouble. Who cares about the customer? <gasps> so the game ends with the ring actually already being sold. But Chinese Peach over here doesn't care about the materialistic things and only wants Mario. Aww, that's actually kind of sweet. Monster! Go, go, go! Okay, fine, stop rushing me! A Pokemon Chinese bootleg, what else can I say? Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you. Meowth has been watching one too many Titanics. There is some hate that will not go away. Okay, so in this game, Meowth is some kind of Satanist. Or into Judaism. And Pikachu? has to stop it, I guess? It sounds kinda weird to say out loud. On the plus side, this game has my favorite iteration of Pikachu. Fat Gen 1 Pikachu. He is... EXTRA THICK! Unfortunately though, the rest of the game is really boring. The main issue is that it's just so slow. Walking takes forever, you gotta wait for the platform, wait to climb. I get that he's a little thick, but that's no excuse. Look at this thick guy move. It's just a really basic Game Boy platformer. What's interesting though is that this is a bootleg hack of Smurf's Nightmare. A Smurf's Game Boy Color game. It's just as slow and lame as Monster Go Go Go, but... It doesn't have thick Pikachu! So how good can it really be? Up next is The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap on the NES. Or, as it's more well known as, Shen Ki Di Mao Zi. This is why you don't ask me to say things in Chinese. Now, if you're someone of normal intelligence, you might say, Hey now! The Minish Cap was never on the NES! 
and you'd be right. But China doesn't care. The story of the game is a complete mystery considering Chinese is not my native language, but at least now we can get some visual cues and make some assumptions. So black haired Zelda enters your home without knocking because who cares? She doesn't care. A girl's entering your home, just let it happen. Yeah, 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 go to a festival, talk some more. I just wanna swing my sword at something. Is that too much to ask from a Zelda game? Wait, what's going on here? Excuse me? Okay, so I didn't expect this to be an RPG, you know, the exact opposite of a Zelda game. It's okay, I guess. I like RPGs and you can't really mess up a menu. Although the game is kinda really hard, nobody ever tells you where to go or what to do. Not that it would matter, anyway. But still, this means you're constantly running into enemies who will eventually overwhelm you until you die. Get used to that screen. You'll see it a lot. I guess I should have seen this intense difficulty coming considering how the game starts. Ah, it's nice and peaceful with a story I can't understand. When out of nowhere, whoa, what's happening? Why is everything so intense? And it never ends. This is the song you'll hear throughout the entire game. And hey, while we're on the topic of bootleg RPGs that shouldn't exist, Naruto RPG. Yep, it's an NES demake of an actual Naruto RPG game that was released on the Game Boy Advance in Japan. Naruto RPG Uketsugarashi Hinoishi. Why do I have to keep saying words? It's a really enjoyable game with flashy graphics and fun gameplay. But this is what happens when you demake something into an NES game. China, why? It's okay, but when compared to the original title, it's a little... Lacking. That's all I can really say to be honest, considering Naruto RPG is super text heavy. It's possible that it's just a rehash of the Japanese game, but uh, I can't read that either. Okay, enough screwing around. It's time to get serious. SM Chiyokyoshi Hitomi Bangai Hen. I literally don't know anything about this game, or even how to say it, apart from the title screen having an anime girl. I'm all in! So we start off with- Oh wow! Good morning! You're looking a little... exposed there, ma'am. What have we gotten ourselves into? So we cut to another anime girl, this one with pink hair who, I assume, murdered somebody? What's going on? And there's another girl! How many waifus do I need to keep up with? This one has green hair and is shy, I guess? Okay, so it looks like this is some kind of point-and-click adventure game. Great. Uh, I clicked on something. I don't know if it's good. What the hell? What is this game? Gosh, she's still going! Why? What did I do? Huh? Oh, she's happy about it, I guess. Why is this happening? I'm so scared and confused right now. I just want to throw donuts off of a bridge or something. Anything makes more sense than this. <sighs> okay, let's compose ourselves. What we have here is an adult-themed point-and-click adventure game on the Super Nintendo. We take control of one of these girls, I'm not sure which one, I think it's the pink-haired girl, and go on naughty adventures. The main gameplay focuses on taking quizzes in which the questions focus on obscure knowledge about the previous entries in this game series, meaning there's more than one of these games. If you manage to answer at least 5 out of the 10 questions correct, congrats! You're rewarded with lewd anime girls. And sometimes straight up hentai. It's definitely weird and all, but I like anime waifus, so I guess this game is right up my alley. But hold on a second, are we in a high school? And are these high school girls? FBI open up! Well, I feel pretty dirty and inappropriate, but hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and got to learn a little bit more about Chinese culture.
There was nothing in here about Chinese culture. But hey, we got to see it all. Everything from thick Pikachu to pizza delivery Mario to anime girls that even though my brain is telling me no, my heart is saying yes! You see what constantly playing bootleg games will do to you? Man, I really want some pizza now though. Pizza time!